बिस्मिल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द जम्प इंस्ट्रक्शन जम्प टू रंग इंस्ट्रक्शन वेर वी हैड यूज द जे एम पी एंड द लेबल कम्पोनेंट सो नाउ विल बी स्टरिंग अबाउट द जम्प टू सब रूटीन इंस्ट्रक्शन सो वट डज दिस डू आई शो यू गाइज आई जस्ट पिक अप दिस कम्पोनेंट फ्रॉम हेयर जम्प टू सब रूटीन एंड प्लेस इट इन द रंग नंबर जीरो जीरो वन you can see that it shows jump to sub routine and here's a number which i can change to u colon 4 5 or anything but i'll keep it as 3 as it is so there's a number with it u colon 3 and it's called the jump to sub routine what does it do is that i'll show you you can go to sub routine over here in the uh, bottom down menu from here and this shows sbr you can just click on it and it shows sub routine 3 I've placed it already, so I've, I'll just remove it for you guys. It can be a, just a simple uh, rung, or it can be a set of rungs in the subroutine which you want to be executed only if you have turned the jump to subroutine in your main program on. So what we'll do is that we'll just select the subroutine label from here, which shows the start of subroutine. and i'll pick it from here and place it in the start of rung number 000 and it shows the subroutine u colon 3 what i'll do now is that i have to select the end of this subroutine because we have to jump back to the main program after this subroutine ends so we'll just pick up this subroutine end which is a return button and i'll just place it over here so you can see that this subroutine has the same number u colon 3 which was in ladder program of our uh, system of our main program so this says jump to subroutine 3 u colon 3 and this subroutine has also the label subroutine u colon 3 and the return u colon 3 now what we'll do is that we'll just download this program to plc and let's see what happens So I've downloaded it to PLC. I'll go online. I'll just run this program. So now you can see that uh, our subroutine three has input one colon one and output two colon one. And okay, I have some mistake. I have used this input one colon one over here, which I shouldn't have because I'm using this input one colon one over here too. So I'll just turn. it off i'll turn uh, change these inputs to 1 colon 5 and this output to to 2 colon 5 okay so i'll just download this to plc again so now you can see that these 1 2 3 4 this second one which is input 1 colon 2 is okay Why is it not turning on? Because I have not placed the go online button. Sorry for these mistakes. Okay, so you can see that input one uh, slash two is turning on output two slash one. Input three is turning out the third uh, output. Fourth is turning on the fourth output. But you can remember that in the subroutine three, we have placed input one slash five button. to the output 2/5 so what will happen is that if i turn this on what happens is that the output 2/5 is not turning on why because i have not sent the power to this subroutine u colon 3 only when i'll turn this rung conditions to be true which is for the subroutine 3 only then the output Five will glow if the input section five is turned on. So I'll just turn this on, and now you can see that output five button is now working. So I'll go to the subroutine three, and you can see that now if I turn it off, it's turning off, and if I turn it on, the output five is turning on because the subroutine is being controlled by this switch. If I turn it off. you can see that now if i turn this input switch off the output 2/5 has 
not changed its state because the control execution part has been turned off by this subroutine switch so it will stay in the same condition as it was before turning the subroutine on so i'll turn this back on and now you can see that the output 2 slash 5 has turned back off so that's pretty simple that how does a subroutine work it's just that you can create many subroutines like 3 4 5 and then you can place smaller circuits in them and then you can control these circuits by simple switches which can be controlled by this simulator so if I turn these uh, run conditions for this subroutine off you can see that the subroutine circuit would not be controlled by this input 5 switch which I if I turn it on is not turning on the switch 2 slash 5 so that's all that you need to know about the out, uh, jump to subroutine section so they will be pretty helpful when you'll be implementing circuits complex circuits in logics pro so i hope that uh, this would be easy for you guys still if there's any question you can help uh, you can ask them in the comment section take good care of yourselves allah is